Got got my S and K sweatband, y'all. I'm gonna need it. Uh, so what are we doing? Right. Okay. All of you said I couldn't do it, but I'm back. So we have like seven-ish minutes. Yeah, no, I, I, I won't get too disappointed. I'll try my best not to. Ultimately, if it's... Okay, so here it is. Here it is. Um, it's going to be an SNK character. Like, I'm for 99% sure. But even then, that's not sure. So if it's going to be an SNK character, literally it's like Nakaruru is like the one character that's like possible that if it was Nakaru, I'd be so not... Oh, thank you, Liam. Thanks for saying that. Uh, if it's Nakaru, I'd be not down. Like, I just think Nakaru is, like, overexposed in the land of SNK. Like, she was in, like, every fighting game they released for a while. Um, you know, she's fine, but I don't find her particularly hype or whatever. She's cute, I guess. But, like, yeah, I'm just I'm just not down. Uh, <laughs> uh, but if it's, like, Metal Slug, yes. If it's Geese, yes. If it's Terry, obviously double yes. You know, it's a Karnov, sure. Uh, no, Liam couldn't stream today. I think he has a game design class, actually. Uh, I, I know he's probably hating this. You know. My yes, yeah. Carno wouldn't confuse anyone. Because we're also going by, there is that thing, that um, that Smash thing where like someone reported that it's going to be some obscure female character. Nakaru is SNK's Morgan. I, it could be Mai, but I think Nakaru. It's like, it's like Nakaru and Mai are like SNK's Morgan and Felicia. Yeah, we're gonna play the new Life is Strange. There's just a lot of games coming out all of a sudden. Like what well, with Astral Chain, uh, River City Girls out uh, like in a day or two, um, and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to Life is Strange eventually. I have not tried Control yet. I, I don't even have it. I kind of had to choose between Control and Astral Chain. And I'm like, personally, I'm really happy with my choice because I fucking love Astral Chain. Clay fire. Who owns Clay Fires? Interplay. They used to. Which River City Girl are you going to play as? Uh, the one that Kira Buckland plays. The one that, uh, she, that she voices. Yeah, I think I, I think if I just um, do this, that should be good for a stream. Right? That should be okay. Oh, Excite Truck. I'd like Excite Truck to be in Smash. I, I just want to, I want a vehicle. Oh, I thought I saw John Wolf, but it's Flame Lone Wolf. Uh, maybe I should turn closed captioning on. I don't know. Some people like it, some people don't. Okay, it's not starting yet, and I have to refresh, is it? Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry, oh my god, I'm so stupid. Oh no, I'm, oh, I'm fucking it up so bad. Alright, so, so there's Overwatch. I mean, this is what I got spoiled on, so I'm, I'm, that's fine. I'm with you. EMP activated. Incoming. 
I mean, I played Overwatch for like a year, like straight, so I'll play it a, a bit again. I don't mind. If it got some DLC, like Nintendo exclusive stuff, that'd be cool. Like if it got like, no, well there's no way it would have, there's no way it would have stuff because then you couldn't play it online. Hello everyone. I'll be your guide for today. Remember Blizzard said, uh, like, not that long ago. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled now, for release didn't on Nintendo Diablo Switch get, like, October some, um, 15th, so please look forward to it. Didn't Diablo get okay, some, uh, let's Ganondorf get into our first batch DLC? of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. Oh, God, I love the headline section so much. You gotta see these floors of the hotel for yourself. You know what? I turned around on Luigi's Mansion 3. Place in a I think I'm gonna do a video on this. Where every floor has a, a little harsh on it during E3. Any other. Case in point, Tomb Suites. Because I like Luigi's I mean, Mansion. I mean, a pyramid I just... inside a hotel? Guess we should expect some mummies. Now, what I don't remember is, Art like, Sands. who's actually developing this? And is booby it traps. Monster Games or the other floors, Next Level? Well, or is it Nintendo themselves? I never floor, saw any confirmation restaurant. on that. I probably just missed it. You get it, the but... idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. Speaking of amenities, step right up to this all-new attraction, Screen Park. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team and a Gooigi team. Thank you, Sir Saki. With only one Nintendo Switch system, and two to eight players can battle it out. Ah, oh, that reminds me of the, the Nintendo most Land uh, mode. Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergeist G00. Ah, uh, stream. No. I mean, I'm glad it's during the Luigi's Mansion section, but... 31st, just in time for Halloween. That's the day. That's the day. Get a load of this new free-to-start Kirby game. New free-to-start Kirby. Of Kirby, Kirby, okay. Kirby. Wait, Kirby. did this get announced a little while ago? Fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Thing? Take up Kirby quests Clash. in town, and collectively, you and your team will pick four jobs. Or am I thinking That's of something right. on the three? Get yes. your weapons, get your gear, and get ready. Some mighty tough enemies await. Kirby live service. There are more than 100 quests. So, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. Man, Kirby's like... Key to victory Kirby has way too many games out of like every team. Nintendo franchise. Like, I love you Kirby. Alone, Kirby gets so many games, like, system, almost as many as Mario. Local but they do really well. They're really or cheap play to online. make and they sell. They must sell good. So what am I supposed to do? Be like, don't make them? It'll be time to unite with friends and players from around the world and overcome each challenging quest when Super Kirby Clash launches later That's today. That's a good logo. And remember, like, like that logo. Whoa, today, soon. okay. Cool. This long-awaited, recently released RPG oh, is yeah, getting the, the, a remake. After the, 25 the years, E3, fans think, right? of the Mana series can look forward to the HD remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of Mana. From six different characters, you'll choose a yeah, protagonist I don't think, I don't and think two kids companions. Play Kirby. Kids hate the ones Kirby, you choose fact. will determine which of adults the interwoven stories you'll follow through this reimagined The Kirby world. love is strong now you with remember what will happen Whoa. to dear Jessica if I die. This Jesus. interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, <laughs> you'll have the opportunity to switch this their class. This interference will not be forgotten. Special moves and spells. Step into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Nintendo censors games that often. Unlike anymore. the classic version, <laughs> in fact, they literally do. Including jumping Everyone and combo attacks Nintendo. for each member of your party. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning oh, I to think turn. Is Square Enix is publishing this, not Nintendo, I assume. It's Find out what's in store. Ugh. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803. Oh, return of Oberdin! Neat, that's later, neat. In England with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. I mean, I respect the hell out of this game, India but company, it's not for me. I, I was ship playing and around with the it, mystery of its and it's just a little too obscure for me, but like, it's, it's super cool game. 
When I say it's too obscure, I mean like it's. Mortem pocket watch to turn back time and witness each soul's So there's just a, a tad too puzzly for me. Like I might need to give it a second go. Though. It's a it's a good game though. Observe the situation and record your logic. Like that's such a cool art style. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? Like I played the vanishing of Ethan Carter a little lot. Little by little, and, like tease apart the misfortunes of the ship this. and its crew to but solve the mystery. You no, know, maybe as interesting, but Return of the Oberdin arrives on Nintendo Switch in fall 2019. I hate directs, man. It get all shaky. That's, that's funny. There's a small town out there with a big secret. Never leave town. Oh yeah. That is the rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful thing? town, and the castle protecting it. One day, a little bit? Yeah, there suddenly yeah, appeared a giant a monster. Squirrel boy. To Looks like a the town's boy people, to me. One boy named Axe will stand up to face it. Axe! And the only weapons he'll need like that name. are ideas. But to win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything if there's any hope there's to like win. There's a ton of like Japanese RPGs During battle, shown at like move around to garner support from townspeople. I think an earlier direct this year was just Take like advantage after, to gain the advantage. The Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG that from Game Freak. a cute little guy though. And almost all the music in the game was composed Shibu. by Undertale creator Toby Fox. And Soba. Wait, what? Little Town Hero will make a stand on wow. Nintendo Switch Wow, Toby Fox 16. music? Okay, cool. You can pre-purchase and preload the game later That's super today. super random, but need for him. Fall is coming to Super Smash Bros. There you Bros. go, there Ultimate. he is. There they are. There he and she is. You can is. finally confirm the release they date look of so Challenger good. 3, Banjo and Kazooie. Banjo and Kazooie. So it should be October. And the release date. Badger Kazuri. Today. What? After today's Nintendo oh, Direct. Oh shit! We'll broadcast a video detailing oh, how to use Banjo never mind. and Kazuri, featuring the game's director Masahiro Sakurai. As a special treat, the video wow. will be immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. Did not expect to that. Tie yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Please check it out. But first. But first, what? Yes, 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 here we go! What the fuck? Okay. Oh, remember the Wii U? I don't. Ah, uh, you should have stuck. Uh oh, I don't like, I don't like Game Watch. Yes! 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 Alright, SDK confirmed! Do, do, do! Come on, come on! Come on, come on! KOF! Oh! Oh no, 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 not Iori! I mean, not Kyo! Not Kyo, okay! There's multiple characters, that's fine! Oh, he doesn't get it! Who's gonna get it? Oh, not Andy or Joe! Oh, it's just geese! Yo, grab it, geese! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! No, no, no! Not, not you, Nakaru. You don't get it. You do not deserve that. Oh! I wouldn't mind you, Ori. Honestly, I just didn't want Kyo to get it over here. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be Terry! Pick it up, you bastard! Yes! Oh, yeah! Yes! This is the fury! Oh! I am so okay! Wow, okay, he's far off, though. Yes, it's with Fatal Fury specifically, because I love Fatal Fury so much. Ooh, okay, that's not even far away. I can't even hate that. Oh, that's such a good trailer. So, 
Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury is joining the battle. <gasps> that means we've revealed four of the five fighters included in the fight. Oh, I hear is really Terry's the only theme. One left? Oh, here comes Fighter Pass 2. We're happy to confirm the development of yes. more DLC fighters for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the Fighters Pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. The battle isn't over other yet. Other new fighters. So maybe it's not like a full Fighters Pass. Maybe it's like a couple extra. I don't know. So, what do you think? <gasps> Regarding what was announced about additional fighters at the end of that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. Oh, For I now, love Terry so much. Let's continue with some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't play as any of the Smash like it's DLC about characters time to yet. The Windfish in the Legend uh, of like, I'll play with Awakening. Banjo, but which means like I'm gonna get back into Smash Nintendo Super Hard and just make Terry all approaching. day. I don't care. You'll need some strangely endearing islands. Man, I can't wait for this Face though. Like I got, I was a little cool on this at first, but the more they showed of it, now, what's that wart? Oh, I forgot warts in Link's Awakening. Help Link escape Koholint Island before its mysteries get the best of him. With the all-new Chamber like, Dungeon, I'm really into you this. can place chambers earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter God, chambers. that fucking and save that chamber KOF to a compatible trailer was like the best the Smash the trailer. Zelda series. That way, your friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening will launch before you know it on September 20th. Yeah, God, the, the God and the figure will be available good. that same day. And like Terry wasn't you even know, the heroes per se, Super it was Smash just Brothers the fact Ultimate. that now join his adventure. Like, it's SNK and Dragon you just Quest your mind just S. instantly Echoes goes to Terry. Age definitive edition is exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. It's not actually incredible they job for Kyo. Like Kyo's an experience Kyo's not there. Stories. Kyo's no Terry. Terry's the the been around launches, longer. Free downloadable content can be found in you the know. Champions Pack. Like I don't even mind Kyo. He's just kind of bland. That can change the appearance of party and members. I play Kyo. An RPG like, giant. I select me. Kyo on my teams. Dragon Quest 11 S. Echoes God, of an Terry's so age fucking cool. Edition, journeys onto <laughs> Nintendo Switch. September I would have liked Geese as well. I would have liked Geese. Until then. You can prepare for your adventure with the free demo Man, on you Nintendo SNK Wii really had a turnaround, like, after they kind of, like, went away, then they came back. It took a little while, but... Oh my god, a Terry Amiibo! You're Looking totally right! Yeah! To Tokyo. Woo! The, the 1300s! And Alice games have crossed paths. Yes! The result is coming to Nintendo Switch. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo. Y'all should buy this. The creative energy is so abundant, it's materialized into something called Perfora. I wonder if it's still going to be, uh, has those edited costumes, though. Who suck it out of people. You'll face off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment The 13,000. I said 1,300. Yeah, Fire maybe it did like get Mom as low as 1,300. Join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep, turn-based battles. Blending the combat of the Fire Emblem. This is good. This is a great direct. Series. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included mm -hmm. in the original. Be sure okay. to check out the other new features, from the new story elements to the characters joining you in battle for the first time. Oh, hey, is God. that Tiki? Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp Encore! Encore releases Ooh, on January 17th. Ooh, not 17. even far away. You can pre-purchase the game later today. Awesome. Welcome back to where nothing. Oh yeah! Boston, 2019. Oh my god! Again, when FBI agent oh Leah god. Davis opens an investigation oh into an old serial killer case. No fucking way! To the unknown, a door that also takes us back to New Orleans, 14 years ago. Here, our story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth or madness? Deadly Premonition 2, a blessing in disguise, boggles and beguiles on Nintendo Switch in 2020. And now for a shocker. 
the original oh! game of the series will launch on Nintendo eShop as Deadly Premonition Origins later today. Oh Divinity Original Sin 2 Definitive I don't care about is this. finally coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh! Check it out. Are you okay? Deadly Premonition 2. What? And Deadly Premonition 1 on the Switch. Shut up! And Terry Bogard and Smash. I... Oh my god. I'm, I'm literally at a loss for words. Like, Deadly Premonition is not a thing because the rights seem to be like confused about who owned it anymore. And I literally thought it was never ever going to come back. In any form. And like, and like, a new version of Delhi Premonition 1. Like, I'm actually just as excited for that. And now for a message from Bethesda. All right, what's this, Doom 64! On behalf of everyone at Dude, no, I forgot how to do 64 is so fucking cool sick. We have coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year yes! is the 25th anniversary of Doom, one of the most popular first-person shooters <laughs> ever. And to celebrate, we're re-releasing one of our favorite games, Doom 64. Yes! For the first time since its original release in 1997, Doom 64 will be officially available on a Nintendo console. Relive your crusade against the demons in more than 30 action-packed levels. Like y'all sleeping on Doom or 64, newcomer, it's like one of the best Doom. the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. Oh, I'm so glad this was confirmed. Like, it was like on Nintendo Switch on November 22nd this year. Is that like exclusive? I mean, it could be, but I don't know. Fuck yes! Introducing a brand new IP from developer High Res Studios, Rogue Company. To most of the world, sure, okay, Rogue I don't know Company who you are, but rumor at best. But its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges which will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. Play against friends and match with of a similarly Q's. skilled team online in a variety of objective-based game modes. Oh, it's their person, guns, okay. Gadgets or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on oh, your right. mercenary. Customized. There will be plenty of modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up man. on Nintendo Switch in 2020. Like, yeah, no, 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 man. This is... How's it going? Next, yeah, the new good. titles in the core mm. Pokemon RPG series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We have more information to share that will shed new light on this sure, next Pokemon Sure, show me your adventure. Pokemon, Please sir. Take a look. Whatever, Doom 64. Pokemon Deadly Sword and Pokemon man. Shield take place in the Gala region, a scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon so and meet no new people So, no one knows this about me. is like my favorite Pokemon, like ever. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. So, if there's like a Farfetch'd evolution, First, I'm, I'm, customizing I'm, I'm, your I'm, I'm not. Once again, I'm not, the latest I'm not entry duo. in the series lets you pick your outfit. This time, Jedi it's not just two. tops and bottoms. Maybe but a Shwari's wide not variety, even working on it, including though. Outerwear Maybe and it's somebody gloves. else. That did sound like the voice actor for York, though. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Or put on a little makeup. There's and also Terry's becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look the part, too, don't you think? Second, I guess. Pokemon Camp. During your journey through the Gala region, I also you can like that little corgi guy Pokemon too. I forget Camp. his name. The corgi with the fat butt. I like that guy. While you're there, you can that play guy. with your Pokemon. I like him. And as you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. That's far fetched though. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. There's Grookey. Feel free to bring along one you of your Pokemon. You get the Bazooki. Hang out with up to three other players at the camp. 
We definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Well, the, the last thing I ever expect during those Nintendo like Third, highlights thing you just see a big fucking Pokemon Francis Camp George Morgan face place to and cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region. Curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and Probably other ingredients right. you use. Not to mention the heart you put into it. Japan likes to render their food in, in, in really convincing style. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon okay, sure. doing here? Remember that and sushi striker we'll game? Some new nah, Pokemon you don't. Discovered in the Gala region. First is Poltegeist. Normally, it makes a home for itself by hiding amongst tables, hotels, and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. It may even allow a trusting sure, trainer to Sure, if you're gonna have to put tea. it like that. This ghost-type Pokemon also has a special ability called Oh, Wukong. who's that little Salamander Next, man? Oh, I'm into him. new Pokemon called Cramorant. This no, 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 get out of my face. Pokemon has one huge appetite. It will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth. When it uses surf or dive during battle, watch okay. as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch. Nah, okay, he's attack. okay. Never mind. This is Cramer's Gulp missile. That's new okay. Ability. Gulp missile. Gulp missile's okay. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword oh, and Pokemon okay. Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November 15th. Where's my Brookie plush? Well, how about that? There are still two more months yeah, until the game releases. Please look forward to the day you can start your new adventure in the Please gallery. Look forward to whatever. So, whatever it's been about a year since we began ourselves. offering Nintendo okay. Switch online okay. memberships. Yeah, With they're not great. Online, we're providing a variety of games and fun features. And now, we're looking right. to add in an additional library of games. It's okay. called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. With this, <laughs> you can play a variety of classic Super NES yeah, games okay. on Nintendo Switch. Those are all great games. I mean, I have them on my Super Nintendo Mini, but, you know. There are some you like, may show me some expect, weird fucking shit. Like, Stunt like Race what? FX. Which okay, fair enough. I didn't expect that. Where's Dirt Tracks time? FX? You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play together okay. online. Ooh, I like that Kirby, though. Oh, and the okay. online function will be available from launch. Sure, okay. Here are the first games we plan to release. Earth Defense Force is such a weird one. All 20 it's not of the a games cool, you see cool on screen Defense will launch Force. tomorrow. It's like the lame one. Okay, well, tomorrow's course, cool, I we guess. we will eventually add more to the lineup. Joe and Max, this that's a weird is one. This exclusively game, available but... to Nintendo Switch you know, online members. So please enjoy them at no additional charge. Oh, yes, you see. noticed this, did you? Oh, new controller? I'll buy that. The feel of these cool. games. We will be releasing a Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online Exclusive Controller I'll buy as a that. special offer. To charge I'll buy it, that you can use a USB more cable more than a just dollar. like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. This Super NES style controller will be available for purchase exclusively for Nintendo, Nintendo Switch Online so I'll, members. I'll, I'll, Visit yeah. the Nintendo website for the latest information on its release. Super, Super Nintendo it Entertainment nice System to play those Nintendo games Switch Online. With one of these controllers? Yeah. Well, Let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes, yes, more Nintendo Switch headlines, please. Sure, you know Tetris. Cool, okay, whatever. <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online That's cool. The large scale puzzle battle game. Where's Tetris, Tetris Sphere? It's getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. And you can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive Invictus. against Invictus? It sounds like a best? Final Fantasy 15. Well, good luck. Uh DLC. We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets in exchange Where's for Planet a variety Puzzle of League? custom themes. There's Tetris Attack 99. Your accomplishments. I'd beat Ant-Dude in Tetris Attack 99, no problem. Beyond that, 
the second wave of paid DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode, pass a joypad controller to Yeah, I mean, it has to have some paid DLC because how else does it make money? You and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available tomorrow. A package version okay. including the game, say, DLC, and a Nintendo Switch Online 12-month individual membership will be available September That's a good 6th. deal. Mario and Sonic are ready to kick it old school in so, Tokyo. So, I, I Mario don't and Sonic care about the Olympic Games has become the, a the Olympic of its Games own. series. Time, there that are more than 16 20 events, bit thing that they got, meter, that's cool. Karate, football, skateboarding, rugby sevens, sport climbing, badminton, gymnastics. Like, I still think this surfing. is one of the, the greatest you know misuses of There's two franchises I've from. ever seen in my life. Check out these 10 retro style events. These are these are Each cool. one rocking some sweet 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode but in which Mario, better. Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape story from mode a game neat. based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic well, like, Games. Why can't Tokyo they just have a platform? We'll go for the gold, November fifth. It sells ten million copies in South America. Sure, I'll believe that. The next Damon X Machina demo will be here sooner than you think. Man, Damon X Machina is weird. The free demo version, Damon X like, Machina. Is this a new development team? They're like they're later today. so good that they're listening to in tons of prologue, feedback, but man your mech through the beginning it seems of the like game. they don't really know and what they're doing with all of the game that much. They're not super confident game. in it. If you've never like, played it's cool giving these demos game, out, but it just makes me feel it's like wow. This is the perfect time to take one for a test. I've never seen a Nintendo game take this much feedback during development mode for up to four players. And we're happy to report that it can be Again, played via Nintendo local wireless. Develop? So, gather I your don't friends actually remember. and make the bosses feel Nintendo's like the little guys. It? The full game will also support online Yeah, play. the first demo was clunky. I played it. I, mean, your mech, I know they've your skills done tons missions. of... Like, the game looks cool. What hides beneath your mech's armor? A god or a demon? But if I was, like, if I was to choose between playing this or Astral Chain, like, I'd, I'd, I'll still be playing Astral Chain when this comes out. Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Fucking Katana, Jedi Outcast? The Republic is our only hope to yeah! Jedi. Sure! Get your lightsaber at the ready. Blaster in hand. Why the fuck Prepare not? To wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire. You know, re re release Hooters Road Wars, Trip Jedi on, on 2, the Switch. Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Why Switch not? September 24th. Okay then, exactly. <laughs> We've got new details on some upcoming games. Here's where my journey yeah. begins. You are Geralt of yeah. Rivia, I'm probably monsters. gonna buy this. This is probably contract, gonna be the, the almost optimal way for me to play Witcher 3. You'll have a whole world to explore. At home and on the go. When the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition comes to Nintendo Switch on October 15th. And all downloadable content and story expansions are along for the ride. I think all this stuff Become was the most known, but... in the Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Oh, Black I Black heard about this. I'll Assassin's I'll play this again. That's two action-packed games for one great value. I'll, I'll play Black, Black Flag, Flag again. Like, like fuck you. I just I will hope these ports are good because those Assassin's Creed the Assassin's Rebel Creed 3 Rebel. port was bad. Battle for survival at the I'll edge of a that. savage frontier in the online free-to-play action RPG Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go or a rookie ready to forge your legacy. You'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options, and team up with other slayers to take down boss-sized behemoths. As you can see, the folks at Phoenix Labs are adding loads of new content in anticipation sure. of the game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. That was already kind of announced, though. How's everything going? Next up, Animal Crossing New Horizons. We revealed many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video about covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Tom says, hello there, Nintendo Direct viewers. I'm Tom Nook. I am a bastard. You no doubt heard about the deserted island getaway package my company Nook Incorporated will offer. I'm not prepared to fund my promotion. will be just for you. You will be my slave. Thank 
you for choosing the deserted island getaway package. Whoa. A laid back, is this a voiceover for this trailer or is there an actual awaits. voice? In Animal Crossing. For you weird. and the other folks participating in the getaway package, the time's come to get into the gonna be like a Scientology deserted video. island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. Okay, if you say so. For starters, so there we'll should be about 10 minutes tent. left in, in this direct. It's supposed to be 40 Please minutes, and we're the at spot where you'd now. like it set up. Oh, and there's something else. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Ink Nook Phone. It comes pre-installed with a it's variety of for apps me. for all your deserted island needs, including recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Let's start by crafting an axe. We're going to need some materials. <laughs> yeah, this gives for me. Like branches. Gas make shitty axe that will break. And stones. Then we'll have oh, to resident like services and use mind. the workbench. Flimsy axe. Let's do it. Nicely done. Made a shit axe. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials, like this. And make and a better, more you dangerous can craft axe. More items. Craft it. Feel free to place furniture inside. Or outside. That wasn't furniture, that was a tree stump, but you know. You can fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Yeah, using a fire in the middle of the fucking day. Let's head back to resident services. <laughs> Here we sell tools and furniture. We also buy your unwanted items, including any weeds you remove, Deadly as part of our island cleanup plan. One In and addition two. to the usual in-game currency, Bells, you can also earn Nook Miles through the Nook Mileage can you Program. Believe it? You can exchange your miles for Terry special Bogard items and is recipes. In Deadly Premonition, through a host featuring of Tokyo on the Mirage island. Sessions. So be sure to take advantage of this program. That's the world that we live in. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing. Uh, can you ask chat to Catch link your bugs. reaction to Terry? Tend to flowers. Chat, can you link my reaction to Terry? And them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. That's a cute, that's a cute, uh, a vaulting pole makes it easy Ella. to quickly cross Ella. a river. Whoa, yeah, I forgot that was in the other A trailer. nutritious snack will help you shovel up a tree in no time. Terry should be Find in fucking Animal Crossing. Up but he'd be like a wolf. Island. This is lone wolf, Terry Bogard. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and deadly storms and that will wipe all life trees. off the map. Depending well, no, Commando Joe, he's supposed season, to be Terry the, the lone wolf. Different creatures to catch too. Like, that's his moniker. A, a terrier is, I, you know, I get it, but caught upon snout. Sociable smelt. types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously, up to four a sashi, players yeah, at a time to a on one system. We hope you enjoy living together and working together in the same space. With a uh, local wireless or internet connection, you can travel to another player's island for a total. Look at that lazy asshole! Look at the lazy villager visit. just sleeping. Well, everyone's fucking the working. The whole scene feels meant to be. Why not snap a photo with everyone and make Look, it a Look, Village is still memory. sleeping in the picture. Jesus. How's deserted island life looking? What we've shown you here today is truly just the beginning. Yeah, being stuck There's in a so deserted island. I like that discovered. they're trying to make all that so cool girl. Uh, it's not a great thing. And more. Calling to you from the As island. a deserted island, there's tons of people living on it. You yeah, there's Terry. Wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. Deserted Island Getaway Package. Nah, so March, I forgot. I thought they gave that date before, right? Anyway. So, how did it look? There's still a bit more time until the game launches. So please stay tuned. 
All right, the next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Xeno, Xenoblade. Part of Xenoblade. Yeah. Maybe not a port. Let's see. Hold on. Do you wish to change it? Huh? Because the faces the look future. different. The <laughs> future. No, this has got to be the same game. It's just that they redid the fate. Definitive edition. Yeah, I'll play this again. Definitely a remaster. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, I'll get that. I'll get that. Really kind of wish for Metroid Monolith Prime Soft's HD Xenoblade collection, Chronicles, but. Which originally what released in 2012 on the Wii system, is destined to be reborn on Nintendo Switch. Remaster of the Last Xenoblade Story. Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release in 2020. Please look forward to more announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. That's it for today, motherfuckers. But that's all you need. Maybe he's lying, though. Maybe he's lying? No, I guess he's not lying. Anyway. Uh, stay tuned for a video from Master of Sakurai. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, not going to check that out. I mean, you're free to check that out if you like. Hello everyone, I'm Masahiro Sakurai, director of the Super Smash Brothers. Well, Ultimate you know, hold on. In our last showcase, I talked a little bit about. I kind of want to see them a little Today, bit. Today, I'd like to show you all how to use Banjo and Kazooie. You may feel like some time has passed since our hero showcase, but we're actually recording this only. He looks days so after that tired. Broadcast. <laughs> we sure are busy, even if I say so myself. Yeah, I mean, like, because the best announcements are the Please ones that's like, you are bit more completely out of left field. You may remember in the, the last thing you expect. I was playing by myself using two And that would never get leaked because like no one would care enough to With leak hero, it. If you cast spells using command selection, any opposing heroes will block those attacks automatically using their shields. Uh, so in the background, I was actually using either. the second controller. I'm really hyped for Doom 64, though. So my attacks I'm super, like, forward. that was pretty. Like, Today I have sure my controllers set happen, up side but... by side, but back in the GameCube days, I lined them up vertically, like this. Try doing okay, this with the Nintendo Switch Pro controllers, however, and you'll end up accidentally pressing the L and R buttons. So even though it's a bit of a pain, I do it like this now. This time around, I'll also be doing my best to control two fighters at once, kind of like Banjo and Kazooie, two characters All right, good night, lunch. Nick Valentine. All right, let's yeah, get started. I guess, I guess it's late for some people. So, what is Banjo Kazooie? Well, in terms of genre, <laughs> it's similar to Super Mario what 64, is this and it was first released on Nintendo 64 back in 1998. The character Banjo sure was, made his first appearance a year earlier in a game called Diddy Kong Racing. After that, Banjo that is Kazooie true. Was I forgot Banjo is in that. And then Banjo Tooie. Two titles were then released. And then nothing Android happened. Games, although they never came to Japan. And then there's Banjo Kazooie. It never Nuts came to Bolts, Japan, so was I was really against putting. And no one, no one has anything to say about it. As some of it you was may loved know, by the all. The Banjo Kazooie IP now belongs to Microsoft. Technically, they're a rival platform holder. <laughs> Even so, they were happy for Banjo and Kazooie to join the Super Smash Brothers series. Well, you guys, you gotta do something with them. For that, I'm extremely God knows good. you're not doing anything with them, Rare so let Nintendo do something. Open arms. 
Rare's like, please take us back. So, if you want to play Banjo Kazooie today, you can do so on Xbox. I know this is a Nintendo broadcast, but please give the game a try on Xbox. Oh, I thought I thought he might say like, or now let's talk about the music. You can play it on the Banjo Kazooie series. Music has a country feel to it. If we were to include this music in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as is, it wouldn't really match the atmosphere of battle. So we put a lot of effort into arranging the music for the game. We'd like to play for you several so. of these arrangements during the showcase. Up here. Yes, here. You'll see the track names. Okay, let's take a look at the fighter. Yeah, Nintendo and, and Xbox are kind of chummy chummy. They're kind of brought together by the combined hate of Sony's, like, refusal to do cross-platform play. So this is Banjo so Kazooie cute. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. There's Kazooie. There she is. We're using a special ROM today, so the camera is a bit different from the production version. Yeah, you know, lots don't of worry, I didn't think this was like the original game. game I mean, it is, but it isn't. For example, the talent trot here is used for their dash. That's and good. Their jumps are based on abilities like flat flip and feathery flap. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Their neutral attack is called cross That was weird. Banjo just slashing your face. Game, but we build upon the original motion so it better fits the action of our game. Their flurry attack is a rat attack rap. Their dash attack is a forward roll, which is something Donkey Kong uses as well. Yeah, yeah. This move is a pretty useful one. Their down tilt is beat bar. Their up smash is build drill. It looks a bit different from their original games, but the animation reflects the fact that it's a consecutive attack. In Japanese, their side smash is called Harisen Kazooie. Harisen is a word that only exists in Japanese, so I was curious what this move would be called in the West. In English, it's called Regal Bash. I think Regal is the type of bird Kazooie is, so this. But I don't really know anything bash, about this character, so I just did whatever. Their neutral air is Wing Whack. Oh, that's nice. Their back air is an air rat -tat rat which hits three times. Their down air is Beak Buster, which they use to downstab as they drop. Okay. I always like the those stomp attacks, so... As you can see, even their regular attacks are based on attacks from their original game. This music, though. The down and up yeah, I'm really is surprised this is out today. in the Banjo-Kazooie series, too. The upton is based on an animation from Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, where Banjo sometimes stretches. Now I'd like to go over their special moves. First, their neutral special is egg firing. Makes it's sense. pretty much their go-to move. First person, but the eggs bounce. I doubt it would be. And by holding down the button when launching the eggs, you'll do the attack you see here. Regal Blaster. Yeah. Regal Blaster is based on this part in Banjo Tooie where the screen mimics an FPS. Oh, so it is kind of like the first person. You can thing. hold the button for auto fire, Just not. but as you do, the power of the eggs will gradually decrease, so you'll need yeah, to be careful. Of course. You can cancel it by crouching or pressing the shield button. Next, their side special is Wonder Wing. As in their original game, it's an invincible charging attack. I like how his, like, his polygons are kind of low. And will basically win against any other attack. However, you can see some feathers above Banjo's head. There are five of bottles, in total, and I just yeah. use up all of them. After using them up, you won't be able to use the attack again until you lose a stock. Since the remaining uses of Wonder Wing only appear above their heads, all the DLC day, characters you have really need to make sure you hammer the number of uses into your head. You can use it as a recovery option. And since it's likely to trump counterattacks, it doesn't have many disadvantages. But it does have a weak point. If it's blocked with a shield, for instance, you'll be wide open to attack. Oh shit. In addition, you can be grabbed during this move. Oh, Banjo hates it. Rate, see keep track of how many Wonder Wing uses you have left. And when fighting against Banjo and Kazooie, make sure to take action against this attack and remember to keep an eye on it. It's important to keep this in mind. 
Next is their up special, Shock Spring Jump. This move utilizes the Shock Spring Pad. Oh, it's cool with the pads game. there. There are a few things to note. First, you can hit your opponents with the Shock Spring Pad. <laughs> it can be used to recover, and it's throwable too. Also, it's pretty different from other up specials that carry the fighter upward in that you're still able to jump in mid-air after using it, meaning you can jump twice huh. in a row. So if you're falling, you can use it like this, jump and then dodge, increasing your ability to recover. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense for Benjo, because he's it's got By a the fucking way, bird in his backpack. The height of a shock spring jump will change depending on how long you hold it. It's a sexy-ass pink Banjo. Huh. Note the slight difference in height. Next, for their down special, Rear Egg, they'll fire a grenade out of his backpack. Oh, it's a okay, grenade his egg. backpack. It looks it looked something different. This is a slightly odd projectile, in that it can only be launched behind the fighter. It's a little weird, you're not wrong. And because the grenade egg is football shaped, its bouncy trajectory can be unpredictable. After a certain time, it's unreliable. It I think it will be a useful tool for keeping opponents in check. It's treated like an item, so you can pick it up and throw it. Oh, okay. Your opponents can also throw it. Oh, back. okay. <laughs> yeah, but it's, uh, it has advantages and disadvantages. Short. So both you and your opponents will need to make sure you throw it quickly, or it will explode while you're still holding it. I guess there are a lot of different ways to use this ability. I guess, yeah. Like how Sakurai's unsure. I, I think there's a lot of ways I can use this. Lastly, their final smash is the Mighty Ginginator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Mighty Ginginator is what delivered the final blow to Bruntilda in their original game. Right. This move will send your opponents flying. As, as most final smashes tend to do. This stage is called Kurukuriyama in Japan, but in the west it's called Spiral Mountain. As you can see, it's a it's mountain a where the bottom portion stage. is a spiral shape. A rotation icon will appear. And the stage will spin. This is quite unusual, even for the Super Smash Bros. series. It's truly unique. On Spiral Mountain, right? Anything on the stage, items or otherwise, will also move. As the stage turns, the shape of Spiral Mountain will also transform, meaning your recovery points will also change. Okay. Platforms like this will appear from time to time. A bridge will also appear when Gluntilda's lair is visible. Now that we've covered both the fighter and the stage, can, can the Gruntilda also like turn into, into the sexy Gruntilda? So the game over. Magic Kazooie? No, no, just me. Okay, cool. This time I'll be taking on not just one, but two fighters in a team battle. Donkey okay, Kong, I, I think I'm gonna cut it there, guys, because I, I do have some things. So there are actually two on my side too, and you can learn stuff. It's probably you know, I like Banjo Kazooie, but like when it comes to the mechanics Looks of like, like fights and stuff, I'm like, you know, I, I don't, I don't have much to add. So I'll play carefully. So uh, this was a great Nintendo Direct. I should probably keep uh, it super in into track. just almost about everything. I don't Your think there's any like fired sheer or duds in there. Are useful at times but like holy this. shit, Terry, Deadly Premonition, Tokyo Mirage Sessions, wide range of uh, Doom 64, we'll use of these all that shit, good fucking shit. But yeah, like that's like that's gotta be high up. And like the only thing I wish is that like yeah, Metroid Prime HD uh, and, and Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is, is pretty sick because I enjoyed I played that game like I never finished it, but I played a lot of it. So. Uh, really, really good stuff. Glad you could join me today. Um DP 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 hyped. I'm gonna I'm gonna be thinking about DPing all night. But uh yeah, um uh, if you haven't checked it all already, please go check out my gameplay video of Astral Chain. Uh, Oops, I guess I uh, should my be friend Lulu worked really sounds. hard on editing Autofire, that. Autofire. I think it's a really, really Ooh, fun video. Ouch. If you oh. haven't played that game, please do. Oh, if you have a Switch. Smash meters it's up. fucking fantastic. You can have that. So, um, yeah, and I might download, no. uh, if, I have, if I have a minute, I might download uh, and, uh, Banjo here. I think I got the Fighters Pass. I actually don't remember if I do. So I'll do that, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm not on the next time we're gonna stream. 
these are really random streams. I just wanted to do the Nintendo Direct, so um, yeah, I'll I catch you uh, next time smash, inside the stream or whatever. So thanks for hanging out, everybody. Oh, that's.